Hello everyone, long time no perceive. Today we're going to look at the definitive top 6 players from the Great Yap Off, 2024. I won't slow you down with eternal debates over these placements. Your time is precious. First though, an honorable mention. Headphones. Flimsy performance, but notable. So let's get started with a look at number 25. 25. The minimum age requirement for entry to this event. Well played, 25. Coming in at 24 is... T. Bates's post-game speech. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Truly a performance to remember for the ages. At 23 we have... Johnny Boy on kickoffs. He turned up the oh, It's a kickoff! Making it into the top six at all is pretty good, but they did not live up to expectations at all. Okay, 22. Let's not forget. Best of threes in a single elimination bracket. Always disappointing, but at least they showed up, unlike best of fives. 21? Sorry. 21? Sorry. 21? Sorry. 21? Sorry. 21? Sorry, I need to take a technical timeout before continuing with this list. 20. I don't understand, this is the sixth thing but we have more to go. What is happening? 19. Performing just as we expected them to, we have rolled is at 19. Congrats on the top 6 performance. For 18 we had an unsurprising performance from. Rizzo losing on LAN one more time. And for 17 we have. CJCJ losing on LAN one more time. The kind of consistency you could build a team around from these last two players. Okay now 16. Another player showing up just as expected. EU bias. Not much to say about that. It's usually accurate, just not this time. 15. Paper towels. Their team really could not have played without them. At 14 we have to give some recognition to, scoring plat goals in front of a crowd at LAN. We've seen them at LAN many times before. 13. The Desk Curse. Spooky. Number 12. Did you see that they announced official 1v1s of some variety for next season of our LCS? That seems pretty cool. 11. Not quite squeezing into the top 10 in this top 6 list. A team of washed pros and an out of touch content fiend. What a player though. 10. Just barely squeezing into the top 10 in this top 6 list. Winning an overtime. A familiar face on LAN. 9. It's time to start recognizing the real carries in this event. More, paper, towels. Stole the show for a moment, but ultimately played a supporting role. For 8 on this list we have. Zero Seconds Cinema. Never disappoints, after a long career in the eSport still showing up to this day. Just outside of the top 6 in this top 6. At 7. N.A. Crowd. They certainly showed up. At position 6, the number you have all been waiting for. Deserving some recognition after being absent for a few lands, a surprise return and outstanding performance from. CJCJ's Tears. 5. Spilling Water. Probably the best peak for a player in the series. But we only saw them for a moment. We need more time to know they can stay consistent. 4. Not quite on the podium, a tough position to land in, just barely missing out on the peak. Look devastated. 3. Dazerin. Ahem, sorry. Darzerin? Darzerin. Sorry. Days, that'll do. Number 3. Daisy's hat. 2. 
Stax's hat. One. Who else could it be? Daniel. He who withheld his aura from a team of frauds, and blessed the one true believer with a victory. Finally more honorable mentions. He is two, Gibbs and Wavepunk. Who performed better than anyone involved in the gameplay we saw on screen. And that's all. Who was in your top six players from this event? If they are not the same as mine, they are wrong. Sorry. That's just the way it is. As you can see, my list has formed a rainbow with no neighboring cells of the same fill. That means you cannot debate it. Finally. Thanks. It was a good show. More please. Oh you're still here. Stuck through to the end. A dedicated viewer like you probably wants to know why I've not had many videos for, a long time. Well? I simply did not have, any funny ideas. Cheers.